track, either home or back to work. Here, thousands of migrant workers converged, waiting for public transport. Extra buses were hired to accommodate the demand. At the Libombo border post, long queues. More than 15,000 people and 4,000 vehicles were cleared today. We have opened five centers to clear people. There's two centers uh, uh, four kilometers before I arrive at the border post where we are clearing mine workers. The country's main routes were jam-packed. More than 2,500 cars per hour passed through the Marine Hill toll plaza on the M3 just outside Durban. Heavy traffic flows was also recorded on the main routes through the free state. Guys, I think coming home rather are a little bit anxious to get home and a little bit more overtaking and whatnot. But otherwise, it hasn't been too bad. In Lipopo, traffic on the N1 started picking up from the morning. By this afternoon, 2,000 vehicles were traveling south every hour. Extra lanes were opened at toll gates to ease the flow. Scores of holiday makers streamed back into Gauteng. Over 1,600 cars passed through the Dehuk Plaza hourly by late afternoon. Traffic officials are leaving nothing to chance. Now we are going to be very strict. We are, we're going to show no mercy to any offender. We, motorists to break the laws were going to be treated very harshly. Traffic officials say they'll increase visibility. We would want to appeal to all road users to exercise extreme caution. We, we know that they are tired, we know that they are fed up, the money is finished and before the arguments break out, let's get people home safely. With traffic already picking, traffic officials are out in full force to ensure compliance. Once again, they've appealed to motorists to obey the rules of the road or risk losing their licenses. SAPC News.